This right here is the Logitech G560. This has been our speaker for the past four or five years, I think. When I bought this, I was setting up my gaming PC. So this one has RGB, has LightSync, Logitech. It went uh, for compatibility with my other Logitech products as well. So there I have it. It's actually working good. It's just that I have some problems with it that I just couldn't tolerate. For example, one of them is that it's just, there's just too much bass that the other frequencies are drowned out. Sometimes I can even hear voice or vocals or people, let's say I'm watching a video, a movie, I can hear the voice. I can hear the people talking. And secondly, there's no EQ control. But anyway, today we're going to replace this and we're going to replace it with this. This is Sonic Gear's Studio Pod VHD. I read some good reviews of it, so let's check it out. Before we unbox this, I'm going to unplug this first from our system. Now that that is out of the way, we can now unbox this. They got this. All the cables are here. Different cables, documentation, cables, 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 and of course the power plug and then uh, adapters and then you've got this uh, remote control you got your remote control and uh, this is going to be the battery for your remote control then then you got the speakers themselves let me just show you what you're gonna get. So these are two speakers. These are 80 watt speakers. And uh, I chose the color white. I thought that they're more neutral. There are other colors that you can get. So you have some selection there. And uh, this is one of the speakers at the back of this. There's really nothing except for this, which is gonna be your connection to the other speaker. And the other speaker though has many controls at the back of it. So as you can see, you have here your volume knob then you have these two knobs which is for your treble and your bass so you can control that uh then you have your power button here your eq button here then here here you have your uh, rca cable so they have provided an rca to 3.5 mm cable so obviously so that you can use it to your uh for your computer then this is your coaxial cable and then this one this is for your optical connection so that's very good they have many uh connections at the back and also the one thing that you just don't see here this is also uh you can use this to connect your bluetooth devices so you have many connection options there and of course lastly this is just your power in and this is going to be the connection for uh to the other speaker so now let's just connect this to our computer and listen to some songs We are all set. We are now ready to listen to some music. Our speakers, they're both connected now to our computer. And um, I'm not gonna talk and I'm not gonna say anything while we're recording or li we're listening to some music. I'll just probably show you what I'm pressing on the remote so that you know what's happening. And by the way, we are recording this, of course, just using this mic so that you have a reference that the music that you're listening to or the, the sound that you're listening to is also coming out of this mic, all right? So here we go.
siden af Nemus. Go, 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 go. He's coming forward. Jarrett, the soul of Fisher on to do. Are they? He sprouted. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Keep pushing. pushing. You can't get out of this. Something in the air of the car. I can notice you. I can notice you. Okay, so hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, we got another spin. Tears falls now. Being taken by OG. There's all the damage. Very low, very low. They might die here. Very low, very low. Thomas, down to half health. He's trying to retrieve the change. They get themselves another sword. That's taken down. No, he's dying. Jump away from Sam. Echo, echo. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I use it. Reposition. Yes, yeah, same on Echo. We also go there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really doesn't matter. They have others. Okay, end the game. So what do I think of the Studio Pod VHD speakers from Sonic Gear? Well, I'm very impressed. First off, it solved the two problems that I had with my Logitech G560. This one has a more balanced EQ compared to that one. And I can hear vocals here uh, whenever I'm watching a movie or a video that has some people talking or some conversation. That one, I couldn't. And also the second one, this one has EQ. That one doesn't have. This one has a preset EQ and also I can change the treble and the bass at uh, the back of one of the speakers. So that solved the problem that I had with that. And then additionally, the other thing that I want to add here, this one has physical buttons or physical dials that I can actually control. That one, everything is done via the software. And yeah, this remote control is actually a very good addition. So yeah, right now I'm enjoying this and I think I'm gonna enjoy using this uh, as I listen to music, I listen, I watch videos, movies, and also when I edit my videos. Now, the real question is, what am I gonna do with that Logitech G560 speaker now? <laughs>